the new year is a good time. This is when we start thinking about what that new dance season is going to look at. So these are things that we want to be thinking about now. How do they go about getting that in? Do they ask their teachers, hey, are you comfortable teaching this? Are you qualified to teach this? What What is that stuff? And that's a great question. And I think this is the perfect time of year to think about it. As you said, it's the new year. Um, but as you're going into yep. competition season, just start to take note. When do the dancers fall apart? When do they say it's too much? Yeah. When do the parents start to look ragged and resentful and unhappy and saying, my daughter's always hurt. She's always <laughs> injured. About yeah, exactly. <laughs> my daughter's always injured and, and stressed out. And, you know, so start to make note yeah. of that. When does your schedule feel super duper squeezed? And then at the end of the, the year, send out a form, make it anonymous and say, what would you like to see different? Like, would you like, would you take advantage of strength training class? Would you take advantage if we had a private coach here that could work with whoever wanted to sign up during these hours? Like, how can we help facilitate that and gather more information then? Right now, I think it's a great idea to start asking your teachers, what do you feel comfortable and qualified to teach? Um, where can we make the schedule more efficient? As I said before, maybe we take out one of the leaps and turns classes and put in a strength class instead of that. I know, I know it's really hard to drop some of those classes, um, but just look at what's going to make them a healthier, more competitive, like physically able to compete at a higher level um, dancer. And I would also say start to um, start to clean up your social media and start to look for people who are really good at what they do and follow them and see how they do it. My friends post all the time. They say, I did this and they, this is why I did that. And this yeah. is why. And you'll start to see patterns and you'll start to be like, oh, so maybe I should look at that. Maybe I should try to get certified in this. And I think if you have great um, science expert based social media, uh, Instagram accounts to follow, I think that you're going to learn a lot and you're going to start to see those patterns and be like, oh, I could do this or I could do that.